Right, so hey guys and welcome back to another web series tutorial. So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, style a website that we've been working on which is a login and register system. Um, I'm going to show you how to make it look a bit more appealing towards the audience and make it look similar to real life um, login systems. So first of all what you want to do is obviously start your Apache and SQL so that the website can function properly and then after that um, just a open the link into your browser and open the code at the same time. So to add styles to a website we need to use CSS which is a cascading style sheet. To start that you just go below the head tag and type in style and you can press enter for the autocomplete. Um, here what we're specifying is that from this point onwards we're going to specify the style, style properties for the website and it's going to be type um, CSS. So first off what we want to do is um, move oops we're gonna move this uh, wage calculator text or header towards the center of the screen so that it's uh, more aligned and we're gonna do the same with the form as well so we're gonna start another center tag and we're gonna end it right here okay now what we're also gonna do is um, as you guys may see right here, the buttons look like they've messed up because we've just moved everything to the center. So if we take off the BR from here and here, and we refresh, we have a nice clean um, interface for the user to enter username, password, login, and then obviously lastly register. Um, what we could do from this point onwards is start styling the fields for the username and password. So how we're going to do that is by um, creating a ID for the text uh, text holders. So first of all, you go after inputs, type an ID, and then give it a name. So I'm going to call this username, and I'm going to call this password, obviously. Or we could just say text field because they're obviously going to share the same property so we don't have to have different ones place that there and now that we have an ID for these two we can reference them through the style sheet the way we reference them is by using a hashtag and we're going to say uh, text field we need uh, curly braces and then inside there is going to be the properties of the style we want to use so first of all I'm going to increase the width and height so width it would be around I would say 20 pixels probably a bit less here so around 200 let's say actually 170 should do the job for now uh, and we're going to increase the height at the same time That looks about right so inside there we are also going to increase the font size of the text which is displayed and do this font size to around 17 pixels uh, actually it's a bit too big so I'm going to go for 15 yeah that should do the job for now if you wanted to you could also change the color of the text which is displaying inside so by doing uh, font Actually, you don't even have to do font. You just do color and say whichever color. For example, if you wanted the color of the text to be red, just type in red. And it should, when we refresh, display a red color as the font name. So obviously, we don't want to use that. So I'm going to just ignore that for now. Uh, if you wanted to, you could also take off the borders from the username and password text box that by doing um, border and then saying none. By doing this, we get rid of the borders, obviously, and then we can style it by doing a border bottom. So we're going to create a bottom border which is going to be solid, it's going to be um, red in colour and it's going to be 2 pixels in width. Okay, 
So as you guys can see, we have the username and password fields ready. Um, we're going to capitalize these because it doesn't look good otherwise. And we can also add a bit of padding so it's far from each other. Let's see around 15 pixels for now. Okay. And as you guys can see, it's already looking a lot better than it did before. I'm just going to increase the font size a bit more as well because now we have a different scenario here. And I accidentally changed the name, I just realized it should have been the placeholder. Okay. If you guys wanted to, we could also do these on separate lines, obviously, by just including a P tag, but just like this. And it would shift to the next line. The same would be done to the password field if you wanted the login and register button to be pushed down further. And obviously it's going to align automatically. Um, if you wanted to, you could also set a background color for this, for the text fields. So background color would be, I'd say gray for now. Or you can just leave it alone without touching it because right now it doesn't seem very nice you could pick like a lower grade gradient of gray if you like to so this text doesn't look the most appealing so i'm just going to change the font family of it which is the font type which we're using and the way we reference it is by saying h1 because that's the name of it and then we change the font family and just go basic calibri for now and then as you see it changes to Calibri or you can go with Arial as well. It includes all the basic ones inside uh, by default. You can also change the font size to be a bit more because obviously it's like the um, title of the website so it's kind of it should kind of be big. And then obviously you'd have your logo and stuff down there and after that um, I believe I could also increase the width a bit more because now the website the title size has increased too so and you can also put like some text above the form saying welcome to wages calculator or something like that and that would be in the center as well just gonna copy and paste these on each side and as you see it's already looking like it's starting to assemble as an actual website so I'm gonna change the font family of the paragraph quickly and make it area as well Okay, and now that we have that done, we're just going to refresh, take a look, and everything seems good so far. Um, also, what you might want to do is push this whole thing towards a bit more um, center of the screen, um, instead of being all the way to the top. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to create a new division for this um, whole thing. So from start to end, we're just going to do division. And we're going to copy the end of the division and paste it uh, we're going to paste it right about here and then we're going to give it the id and call it body or let's just call it main and then we can reference that main from up here and say margin top would be 100 pixels down and as you guys can see the more number you add it's going to shift lower down towards the screen and it starts looking a bit more better than it did before uh, now all we have to do is obviously design the whoops
now what we have to do is obviously design the what do you say um re login and register buttons so that the website's ready on the login and register side so how we're going to do that is basically do the same thing as we did for the um flex fields we're going to give it a new id and call it just call it buttons for now copy that and paste it in the other submit button as well and now we can move on to adding the rest of the style for the buttons we're going to give it a height of or 27 27 might be a bit too much let's go with 20 and we're gonna give it a the width we're gonna try and keep it the same as the um, text field so 200 pixels continue and obviously we need to push it downwards so that it has a gap between we do that using the paragraph or you can use the break tags as well I'm just gonna continue and we have a clean um, login and register button we might increase the height a bit more yeah seems about right and i'm gonna add 210 there 220 maybe 25 should do the job yeah um now you can also change the colors of the buttons to make them look more appealing um, you could take off the borders border none and then you can add um, you can add like a hover style to them if you like so when the user hovers over it it does a specific action or something like that um, you can add a bottom border like we did for the for the text fields, I'm going to do solid, black, one pixel, that should have, okay, we did it the other way around, it should be border bottom, just border bottom, okay, and as you guys can see, we have login and register buttons ready, and now we can move on to creating a hover so a hover is almost like an animation for the button but not really an animation so the way you would do it is button um, call on hover and then write in the properties so for ours we're going to be changing the actually all we will do is do a border right um, solid red two pixels so what this is going to do is when we oops essentially when we hover over the bu button I'm just going to change that to buttons hover over the button it's going to obviously create this little red um, border on the side you can change the properties and make it do whatever you want so if you wanted to you could also increase the font size to 20 pixels when the user hovers over the thing I wouldn't recommend it but if you like to it's your option so if you like to do that you can do that as well and then obviously all we have to do now is change the styling for the messages that show up on the PHP script how we're going to do that is by giving an ID as well so instead of just doing a normal echo we have to put them in a paragraph tag and center it as well so in that way they will have a bit of style to them as well instead of just littering around account has been created and um, we're gonna do the same here just do the same again right so if we click on register again it's nice and clean it says account with this name already exists um, we can do that the same steps for the incorrect username and password as well so it's nice and clean right so 
once that's done, we're just going to refresh the page, register, and try and log in with a fake username and password, incorrect username or password displays, username or password. Um, if you try and log in, obviously it's going to take you because we haven't added validation to our website yet. So even if we create like a, even if we create like a blank, whoops, even if we create like a blank account, it's not, it's going to still register it. And then when we click on login, it's obviously going to log us in because we haven't added validation yet. In the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add validations to our websites um, so that a user is not able to leave a field blank and click on register or login um, as well as um, make sure that the fields are filled in for the password and username and the user is not allowed to log in while they are left blank anyway guys that was it for today's tutorial hope I was able to help um, if you guys have any new ideas for future videos please do comment them in the comment section um, Please also do subscribe as it really helps me out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.